the sword fighter it just seems like if you're not comfortable with the whole mechanic with those the gale and the oh, well he's going with gunner at this point yeah. so we're gonna see uh i mean we're gonna see samus and slightly and different samus, slightly different yeah. samus we're thing. gonna see samus with mobility and a samus without mobility That's you know we're much. gonna see samus with kill power but like not much mobility and a samus with a lot of mobility but not much kill power he's going with his oh so he's making a I mean, he always goes with the, what's, what's this little, the one he always picks, the Nicky The Nicky one. The Nicky one. The Nicky skin, <laughs> yep. You know, I like, mo most players are like, yeah, we have a favorite skin that we use. B players are like, I have a favorite outfit I like to wear. Yeah, I like, I, I like that. I, I really like um, the whole, how they're the only ones that have the custom moves thing still. That's their, like, I guess, stick. And they kind of. Here we go, game one on Stadium. Uh, what do you think? Is it going to be a slow match, you think? I mean, uh -huh. two spacers? It's, it's going to be a very slow match until the first stock is taken. Because uh, right. by that point, somebody gets, desperate. Somebody yeah. gets the lead. Somebody mm -hmm. gets the lead, and somebody has to commit at that point. Yeah, okay. one, go. So, I mean... Uh, I know that the the me the me characters are they're, they're they're pretty light most uh, for the matter say right there. Right. So yeah, like you said, it, it seems like you got one mobility but it's lighter, and the other one's gonna survive longer. But I mean, I do like that he picked the down B to be the um, the absorption one. Yeah, absorption. Yeah. Yeah. Does I, it have the same hit like uh, Nessus? Yes, it does. But it's but not as quick. It's, it's not as like I don't know how to describe uh, it. Okay. it. It has like a wind box, I think. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird. Oh, he caught him with the bomb up to Yeah. You know, that's what Samus, like, really thrives, is getting those uh, ledge traps. Yeah, those little bombs are sneaky. Oh, and there we go. He's back to... That was nice. That always feels comfortable. I don't know. I thought the other one's... It seems like even this, this Samus is boxing and Gamer is, like... Me Gunner are so close to the face. I mean, usually you expect that. Uh, I mean, definitely... I in terms of Gunner versus uh, Samus, you know, Samus can't really approach, in, like, super quickly. So Gunner's right. going to be doing most of the approaching in the matchup. Oh, okay. you see that up smash seems like it connect, it, it connects way more reliable than uh, uh, Samus' up smash, it seems like, because that's, like, thicker hits. I feel like it's just cause, because the the Gunner is a smaller character, mm. the hits are more connected. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, for the most part, like, it's still kind of rare for, like, players to fall out of Samus Up Smash. Unless oh, they okay. Get, it's a yeah. mix now. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, Loser's Quarter. Right there. Here we go. Down tilt. And, you know, I try and use the down B to get momentum. But, ooh, and then yeah. the other bomb cut. See, I, that's, yeah, you're right. He really places those, like, perfectly spaced right on the I mean, right that's, on the ledge, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's where you have to be super scared about Samus is when they throw out the bomb and then all of a sudden you did, you know a charge shot's coming along the way. Mm -hmm. So what's the aimer side B? Does he pick the missile or does he pick up bomb drop? Oh, no, bomb drop is down B. Okay, right. so, um, so he has missiles, he has a uh, charge shot, he has the mobility up B, and he has the, yeah, okay. the, the absorption. I don't know. I think the reflective would be better than the absorption, if I can be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not the gunner main. I, I do play gun I'm not going to lie. I play the new player, the new character just for fun, like, online. But uh, it, to me, it seems like, especially for this match, I mean, those missiles are, have been hitting them more than the actual charge shot. So I mean, I feel like it depends on, like, the the aggro of the player, you know? They throw out a lot of charge shots, and you can read them. You can recover, like, 30% off of that. So True. that can easily swing the match in your favor, you know? You oh, at, like, right. 100, and all of a sudden you're back at a healthy percent. Yeah, but I can see, like, also maybe, um... Uh, yeah, now I hear it, but then you could also reflect the down beast, right? I mean, I don't know if that'd do anything too substantial. I mean, uh, it would just maybe prevent the trap. But I don't know, you're right. Oh, he's okay. You know what, 99%, you know, Samus can struggle to kill, so if Aimer can just hold on to a stock, not get ledge trapped. Like, it seems like that, that since it doesn't even have a hit, correct, that yeah. be? It does on the bottom of it, but not on the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
it again, just getting sniped out by that charge shot. I feel like he wanted to pull out the, the absorption, but just right. couldn't pull it out in time. I wonder if he's going to stay with maybe go for another beam. Do you think any of the other means would do better? Like, oh, you see he's going sword? Right. I definitely think he's going sword because when he wants a reflector, he'll go sword. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. I didn't know that's a, he has different... Uh, so sword, their down B is like uh, Mario Kart. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that little rainbow one, right? Yeah, the rainbow, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if he wants a reflector, if he wants to like play the, the more projectile campy game, he'll go sword fire. Just and even the, even the side B seems to be blowing up the missiles I just saw, so it's like he's really going to be able to count out a lot of things. And I definitely like the sword fighter pick because he can, you know, space aerials a little bit safer, you know, he can have a just as good projectile game. Right. And then Samus is tall, he should be, should be easy to be caught with the tornado. He ever needs to do the yeah, high damage, right, to confirm a, a tornado into up air. Yep. But definitely he likes the, the straight up and straight down up B, you know? Yeah, you yeah, see, you're right, I'm seeing the cape, I'm even seeing the, I was saying the cape, um, the rainbow even on the down Bs, and just reflect the one to get into the... Yeah. And again, like... The, oh, oh the just sniping, snipe. yeah, just sniping him out. You know, I feel yeah. like Rhino Dude just wasn't expecting that option. Because I mean, how many like these sword fighters you played that like oh, yeah. go for that? You know, and they just feel so comfortable with this character, like. Right? And he also had to worry about like, hey, you know, he's throwing all these projectiles. I know the Samus answer is let me throw out charge shot. Except you know he has a reflector, so if you throw out charge shot at the wrong time, you could easily die at like 40, 50 percent. Yeah. Everything he's just looking really. I feel like it's also might be comf like comfort knowledge because I mean, I mean character knowledge because I mean at the end of the day, me Gunner, like you said, is similar to Samus. He kind of, I guess, could feel somewhat comfortable when fighting it. But when it comes to fighting, uh, I, mean, I don't know. See, that was nice of him. And I don't know how many sword fighters you know besides. Uh, well, I mean, I know Aimer, but, but uh, yeah. Oh, and again, yeah, really good recovery. Oh, yep. Okay. Saw the. Saw the potential for that. I think it reflected the down B, right? It did, and but then, and then the other one just got it. You know, the Rhino dude is just like, okay, I know you have a, a reflector, right. so let me just hold out on this uh, neutral B for a little bit, wait for you to get out. Nice. Yep. With a razor. How did he do that one? That's when you that's when you hold the uh, side B back, or when you are right. So there's the smash one, and then there's the tilt one, and so oh, okay. the tilt one is like slow and kind of lingers right there. The smash one just goes straight out. Okay. Uh, nice. Still doable. Okay. And again, just like Gunner, you know, you have to worry about the up air hitting through the platform. Right. I mean, uh, I mean, it's still looking like uh, even Aimer's looking comfortable. I mean, I think he's really liking the pick. Um, right now, he just needs one tornado. It'd be in, uh, close, uh, like medium range to be able to get the up air. I, mean, I think he's been holding it off because then either he's saving it for trump card or... I mean, it's, oh, oh, there's a... No, uh, no, I didn't get the last hit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but that up is going to be punished. But you know what? He still has the counter. He still has the reflector. So, you know what? Rhino Dude just has to think twice about every time he throws out. There the it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big body. She just jumps up. Yeah. her little head. And then she was able to get that connection. Aimer's looking more comfortable in this match. Right. I mean, definitely, I feel like what you said earlier, you know, like, why didn't you pick the reflector, you know? Because when uh -huh. you use the reflector as Gunner, you are committed to that move. No. Oh, it's, you're really stuck in it, right? Yeah, you're stuck yeah, in it. You're yeah. stuck in it. And you, you, it's not like Wolf, where, like, Wolf can practically combo off the reflector. Mm -hmm. That's how, like, oh, little he's going back. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought he was going back. Yeah, yeah. I see. And then with this one, it's a very, it's it, the cape. It's yeah, the cape, it's a cape. Yeah. You know, it's just like, if I throw it out and I whiff it, Usually, if I throw it out, I'm in a position where, if like, even if I do with it, then like, I'm probably not gonna die. Yeah, you, you know? might even flip the char the actual character. Even if you do it up close, you're just right. flipping them over. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reliable reflector. That's what it is. Uh, but maybe he's now he's just really not. Nah, it's too early to say. It's looking like he's riding the momentum from last match. This might be. Did they, wait, what what stage did they play last match? Uh, they played Stadium last match. City, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think. And this is a Rhino Dude's pick. I don't know. Maybe he was thinking for the up B connection, but I, mean, I, I feel like this is going to make the tornado. I mean, the tornado takes like half. You know what I mean? It takes like the bottom portion. Like you literally have to j at least just jump up to the top platform. I mean, I mean to the the side platforms. I mean, they keep those. Uh, 
I mean, I feel like, you know, the close space means that, like, you know, Rhino Dude can, like, set up his traps a little bit easier, you know? There's not a lot of space for AEM to, like, run around he's, in. He's really got... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. He's, he's really got his down. He's perfectly down right there. Oh, and just... I love that, you know, just using the max range of his up but, you know, it reads the jump from ledge, and you know, that's going to be the end of that story. I think you're right. Yeah, he's able to... He is really feeling more comfortable with his traps in this stage. Yeah, he's able to kind of already have him where he needs him off stage. But that's... You know, at yeah, the bigger nice. stage means that like he can live a little bit longer from you know gunner or sword fighters combos. Right, right. Right here's the. Right. I mean, it's already staled out, but maybe one more will probably do it. I mean, yeah, definitely one more will do yeah. it. Oh, there's the reflector, reflector, yeah. yeah. You know, that's kind of the downfall of losing the green one is that it hovers there, so you no know, AM had enough time to react and just throw out the reflector. Yeah, I saw it. Just Right there, you see, like, like we were saying, even if he does the reflector close, it's not as committed as, you know, if it was a gunner reflector. This one, he just flipped him over and he just put him in the I mean, he got stage advantage at that point. Anyway. And now he's back off. And again, you know, we see AEM kind of just sitting content, you know, holding center stage. You know, Ryan did wants to set up his traps, wants to, you know, be able to, like, pressure AEM, but, like, AEM just says, no, I, I'm fine with you in the corner. No, I don't have to go there. Oh, that's, I don't yeah. know. Was that intentional or that's? I mean, he definitely wanted air dodge to avoid the, the fair, but you know, he air dodge and you know, when you're below like that, you don't get a second air dodge. So True. he was in a position and then where- And I forget about the recovery of um, sword fighters that like, I style one right there up, you know. You see AM trying to just cover the landing option, but you know what? Uh, Rhino Dude not giving it to him and almost getting it there, but not going to be able to quite find it. I uh, tried going for an uh, upbeat just to get more damage, but you know, I'm going to miss, but doesn't get punished for it too bad. And the it. missiles now, it's like it seems like he'll only take him out kind of like a mid range instead of far away. I mean, now he's like, it's kind of hard to react to the missile. Oh, there's actually, right when I say that. You see, he shot it like up close, just kind of like a fake out. He's not even he's thinking of a reflector at that range. And now we got the bomb trap. All right. Well, there's the up tilt. Not going to be able to find anything off of it, but Gamer he had maybe the roll like read, a, but just kind of like overshot his approach. Was it a grab he was going for? Yeah, it was, okay. I wonder if that was true. Was it, it, it's, it true pretty, you, yeah, yeah. it's true if you DIN for that. Um, something I noticed in this game that uh, it surprises people when, I don't know if you noticed, but when they get launched in this game, the smoke, right when the smoke comes out, that means that their knockback is, uh, they're able to move again. Right. Did you notice that on this game? I'm I mean, saying, I as feel in, like, like the smoke trail, what I'm saying is, um, that means that once the smoke trail runs out, that means they can move again, the character. Right. That means they, any, they don't have lag in them. Oh my god. It, I was going to say that would have been a genius play from AEM to, you know, use the bomb to kind of like mess up Rhino Deuce's yeah, timing okay. for the, the neutral B. And you know what? We right see now it looks like he's, he's comfortable. Yeah, right, oh, there it is. Yeah. Is it three I out mean, of five? No, oh, that's no, it. No, it's two out of three. Okay. Yeah. Um, I probably have to get my carpool ride home right now. So. All right, all right. We'll get, get, send Danny over here. Oh. You want to go on here?